Father Christmas isn't going to be happy with these two. Let's begin. Okay, this story is from the Daily Express and it says, Alan Lee, who's 48, defrauded his victims of more than £500,000 and his trusted lieutenant, Gareth Robinson, who's 41, helped him with many of the scams. A court heard Lee and his team stripped roofs of the homes of vulnerable people when no work was needed and when one of his victims refused to pay, he told them, I know where you live. The victims, who included 19 people aged over 60, received aggressive, abusive calls from Lee. The defendant told one wheelchair user that work on her home would take one month, but it then stretched for 16 months and he left the property in ruins. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that's just absolutely, utterly disgraceful. There's just no excuse for this at all, is there? And it's a pity there are people out there who do this to people. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't like it if it was done to their families, would they? And as for the abusive phone calls and thuggish threats, I can imagine people being actually quite intimidated by that. And once that sort of behaviour started, personally, I would have then called the police although for some people that's going to be quite hard to do especially if you're vulnerable and their thuggish behavior would surely have quite an impact on some people and possibly make them worried or scared lee was described as an aggressive and intimidating person in court as prosecutors told how he defrauded 24 people of 556,000 pounds including one homeowner of 80,000 pounds alone but he was jailed today for six years and 10 months robinson will serve three years and four months in jail the day after the sentence was imposed mr lee changed the name of his company from al construction to capital construction which I guess kind of implies that it's just going to carry on from where he left off doesn't it I mean I personally think he should not only serve his full sentence but also have some sort of prevention order placed on him so he can't actually run a company like this in future because who knows how he may treat people or what actually he may do to them in future if this is anything to go by 